had no idea what I wanted to do, yeah. I was coming in as a math major, then I realized Calc 2 was hard. Very few people here do just one thing. I've been out a bunch of nights and like the fraternities here are awesome. I love Binghamton. It's another round of student interviews at Binghamton, so let's get to it. Let's talk to some people. I'm Dominic, I'm a bio major for pre-med. I'm Emma and I'm doing the same thing, bio pre-med. I'm not gonna lie and say it's easy because it's not. Like chem and bio, it's hard. Study as you go. Once you start falling behind, it's so stressful and I just say like study as you go. It'll make your life so much easier. That's what I would say. Get involved, like join a club like or a sport. You're not gonna have like many friends when you like first move. So like if you like join a club, people like with your interests, like you'll be able to meet them. Right. And then it's like just like an easy way to make friends, I would say. What's going on over here? What are you guys doing? Hi. This fashion society. We're having a tie-dye fundraiser right now. Do you wanna tell me how that works on camera? Oh God, Nicole, am I explaining this? Well, yeah. I would love it if you could. Hi everybody, um, we are the Business Fashion Society here at Binghamton University. Today we had our first fundraiser of the 2022-2023 academic school year. We're actually tie-dyeing t-shirts. It's really great when we get to do fundraisers because that means that we get to raise more money to spend on like our upcoming case competition, our annual fashion week. Find us on Instagram, TikTok, and everywhere else. Yes, yeah, sniff it. Niagara, then RIT, and now I'm here. Wow. Cool. And okay. we're just getting started. We got more to do next week. That's so awesome. Are so, you a part of like a whole cult? A cult? A cult? Yes, I am actually. How did you know? I'm the leader of it. Oh, right. It's awesome. My name is Cindy Forster. I study psychology here at Binghamton University. My name is Alana, um, and I'm a freshman, and I'm studying biological sciences. Food is not as great as it look up, looks on the website. We were actually just talking about that. Yeah. <laughs> what was the food that let you down? College, College in the Woods food. doesn't have the best, but we would say, I think, Hinman. Hinman dining Go to Hinman. Hinman Dining Hall. Good food, garbanzo. But it's a beautiful campus. There are always things to do. People are nice. Yeah, everyone's really friendly here. The dorms are nice. Get into Dickinson. Get into Dickinson. It's the nicest one here. But new Dickinson. New because Dickinson. Old Dickinson. Dickin. Yeah, doesn't have um, oh. AC. <laughs> new Dickinson dorms. Come to. Yeah. Yeah, these right here. These these yeah. really fancy looking. Yeah, these look like. The nice ass buildings. The grass is mowed all the time. There's a Dunkin' Donuts right near the Union here. Go there. Not oh, every yeah. day, but it's right here. <laughs> In the marketplace, if you go there often, just just keep track of your meal plan. It's expensive. This is good advice. I like this. This is what the people need. Like they need to know. Yeah, the, they need the to know the truth. Info. The truth For is real. what we would have needed to hear. They have like a nice amount of academic clubs and like club sports. Like There's, I love the acapella groups here. There's always something going on. There's an email that comes uh, through all the time that has like the events. It's called B events. Also, lots of dance teams. There are so many kick line, dance team, Moda X. That's a hip hop one. Thank you so much Thank for your time. You. I got super lucky walking out of the admissions office right here because like people that do the tours were just standing around. Yeah. So, yeah, if you got some time. Uh, um, I'll start. I have the microphone. I'm an industrial and systems engineering major. So I like to say that's engineering people and processes. I love what I do and I graduate this year so it'll be really exciting. So I am a philosophy, politics, and law major and I'm in Binghamton's 4 plus 1 Master's of Public Administration program. So I'll be graduating my undergrad this year and then I'll get my master's next year. I might go to law school afterwards, not really sure, but I'm excited for like the skill building. In a class right now we're learning about like how to do public policy research and I'm really excited to see where that class takes me especially. Um, so I'm a psychology major. Um, that's not initially what I wanted to do. I was coming in as a math major then I realized Calc 2 was hard. <laughs> And I love psychology. I love the professors here at Binghamton. There's one professor. Her name is, I don't, can I name drop? Yeah, yeah. Okay, drop. Anne Merriweather. Yeah. <laughs> the best. She has like her own alpaca farm that she invites people over to sometimes, like pre COVID, like people would go to as a field trip. But currently, like, I want to go into a master's program to work as a school psychologist. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm a master's student here actually, so I was part of a 4 plus 1 program where I got my undergraduate degree last spring. I graduated with it in environmental economics and a minor in education as well. Um, and then now my program is called Sustainable Communities, where I'm learning more about the sustainability and eventually I want to go into corporate sustainability, helping companies become greener and just really try and make a difference in this world. I came in as an English major. I thought I was going to go to law school. I took one class in anatomy and physiology of speech and hearing and I fell in love with it. It, like uh, Dr. Gobble, our 
program coordinator is one of the best and most helpful people I've ever met and it's really just opened up some really great new possibilities and now I'm going to grad school for medical speech pathology and I'm really excited. I actually just declared yesterday as an integrative neuroscience major. Um, I came in as a psych major and I love psych. I'm super passionate about it. Again, Anne Merriweather one of the smartest people I've ever met. I wanted to try bio and stuff like that, and I ended up falling in love with that as well. So integrative neuroscience allows me to have that psych portion and also bio at the same time. I'm super excited. So uh, I actually do a double major here at Binghamton over at SOM, majoring in business administration with a concentration in data analytics. And I'm also at the School of Arts and Sciences majoring in theater, um, very different degrees. But I think that's one of the best things about Binghamton is that very few people here do just one one thing. How's it going? Good. Uh, do you have a couple of minutes? Um, maybe. Uh, What's your? Like go visit campuses and like talk to students on campus. And... Uh, not for me, thanks. What made you want to do biochem? Um. <sighs> that's not for the faint of heart, you know. <laughs> that's a that's a tough choice. So I'm curious. I'm actually late for a class. So. Okay. All right. If you got to roll, you got to roll, dude. How's it going? Hi. You got a couple minutes? Or are you in a hurry? To get to class. All right, so go sorry. ahead. You vlogging? Yeah, actually, I'm uh, working on getting in some interviews. You guys want to talk to the camera for a couple minutes? Sure. I'm John. I'm Jordan. Uh, we're both uh, pre med majors. Mm -hmm. Okay, pre med. All right, so what are you doing, biology? Yeah, yeah we're doing All right. biological sciences right now. Yeah. It's been awesome. We uh, we went to a couple of bio biology lectures and stuff, and some chem lectures. Yeah. It was good. It's just a different experience than high school, but like it's a lot of it's people free. in one room. Yeah, it's a lot of freedom. A lot of freedom. It's not too hard. I I feel like there's enough freedom where you can live how you want, and I feel like that's that's a good thing. Yeah. You know, high school it constricts you into a certain structured lifestyle. This way, you can live however you want. Yeah, I agree. I feel like I can organize like when I can go to the gym, when I can work out, when I can play like a sport with my friends, right. and then when I can decide to do work. What I like most about it? Right now, I'm gonna say the social life because that's another thing I There's need everything. to talk about. Like, I've been out a bunch of nights and like the fraternities here are awesome and it's like yeah. all in the inner city, which is super cool. Yeah, hey, you already find some good parties? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, good, good. Awesome. That's what you gotta be doing. Yeah. I like to hear that, man. Yeah. All right, thank you guys for your time. I'll of let course. you get back to your day. Thanks. All right, thank you Take so it much. easy. Have a good one. My name is Brianna and I study economics. The professors here are very passionate about students wanting to learn the material instead of them just throwing it at you. And I actually had a professor, He's a bit, he was a very like witty and very kind of funny professor. Like he made the classes really interesting and because economics can be a little bit boring, you know, hands on things in class too that kind of helped with students understand the material more. So he like encouraged me to do economics and he was the reason why I'm now majoring in it. Okay. So, so were you kind of undecided at yes. first when you came in? Yes. Yeah. I had no idea what no I idea at to all. do. Yeah. How did you kind of like, besides maybe this professor's guidance, how were you trying to figure that out? I just took a lot of gen ed courses and as I took more and more classes, I was like, hmm, I think I want to go more in the economics field and business field. When I first got here, I wish I knew that everything was gonna work out because I was really stressed coming into college with, um, I actually came into college when it was COVID, so everything was really just up in the air and you didn't really, I didn't really know what was gonna happen or what I was gonna do too, so I wish. Someone would have told me you're gonna be okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you. I'm Joe, uh, Ecology. I used to go to SUNY Cortland, which is like two hours away from here. What made you transfer? I was originally an education major and I realized it's not what I wanted to do. And there's no, I wanted to be an ecologist and there's no ecology in, in Cortland. I love it, it's like a million times better here. Back in Cortland, the campus was one street, one side of the street was a class, the other side was a cemetery. And here it's like, it's like beautiful. So I'm also an ecology major. I like it here too. I feel like all the professors are very nice and now that I'm like finishing up my degree, I'm taking more classes that are focused in environmental science and I just like everybody who's involved in the program. Everybody keeps telling me the people when I ask them what they like about this place. Yeah. Yeah, what do you think makes the people good here? I don't know. Well, specifically in our major, in yeah. like environmental sciences, it's time, it's like 
a lot of the professors are like old hippies, yeah, stuff like that. Like and they're super people. nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I love them. So. That's all I need, man. Thank you so much. Perfect. Appreciate it. After six hours on campus and a whole bunch of student interviews, I've had a wonderful time at Binghamton. Everybody's been super nice and they've been very welcoming for me. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Thank everybody here who talked to me today. And I will see you next week.